Well, a new report from the Erie County Comptroller's Office shows the county has paid out nearly a million dollars in overtime to some county workers during the pandemic, and you paid for it. Now, if those numbers seem high to you, it's especially true compared to the rest of the state in a new report from the Comptroller's Office. Joining your sides, Michael Wooten joins us now from our newsroom with uh, all the details in that report. And Michael, have to ask you, this is quite a chunk of taxpayer money involved here. Yeah, no doubt about it, Scott and Mary Alice. We're talking about nearly $943,000 paid by the federal government, but it's still taxpayer money. That dollar figure covers overtime to salaried workers from the beginning of this COVID-19 pandemic earlier this year. Now, there is a lot to explain in all of this, so we're going to kind of walk you through it. We'll start with what is in Comptroller Stefan Mihailu's report. His office reached out to all 62 counties in the state with a survey asking them how much money in overtime they have paid out to managerial confidential employees using CARES Act funding. Now, those are essentially salaried government workers who cannot be members of a negotiating unit. Now, of the 52 counties that responded to the survey, 51 of them combined to pay, look at that, $45,000 in overtime during the pandemic. 51 counties added up to just that. The other county is Erie, and it alone paid out that $943,000. So you can see the imbalance. The Comptroller's report includes $115,000 in overtime for Erie County's health commissioner. Now that is the only position that was singled out in this report. But if you look on the Comptroller's own website and its most recent breakdown, overtime paid out to the Sheriff's Office far outweighed the Health Department. We spoke with the county's associate deputy comptroller today to ask why the health department was singled out. Now she wouldn't directly answer that, only saying that every expenditure can be found on the website. I think it's very important uh, for lawmakers to have all the data at their hands that they can have as they hold their committee meetings and they ask questions and they're making decisions going forward. Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars' office responded to this report by the comptroller with this statement tonight. He says that Mihailu appears to be going back to his, quote, same tired attacks on the health commissioner while doing his best to ignore the Erie County Sheriff's Office individuals who also earned OT. The county executive's office also deferred the overtime paid out to the health commissioner, uh, saying that Dr. Gelberstein is responsible for one of only three public health labs in the entire state and therefore had a lot more on her plate during this pandemic than her counterparts that were also included in these other counties in this report. Now, it's also important to point out that the counties of New York City were not among the 52 that responded. That area was, of course, the epicenter of the outbreak in the state and really the whole country. So we aren't sure how much overtime was paid out in the five boroughs. But those counties, because they fall under the New York City jurisdiction, it's a little bit different. They don't actually have their own governments. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.